Hi there everybody and welcome to another video of this um, Volvo V50. Um, this is a 2012 petrol automatic and um, on today's video I'm going to be changing the rock copper gasket and the reason for that is because there is a lot of oil going into the spark plugs. So there is oil dripping into the spark plug section. Okay. And uh, filling the cylinders <coughs> with oil. Uh, now, hopefully, this is not a too much, too tragic of a, of a job. Hopefully, it's a fairly straightforward one. Um, I'm just going to I'm going to remove the coil packs and there from there and then um, there's just a cup maybe that pipe there to disconnect and then we just need to remove the eight mil uh, bolts that are holding the cover down. So I've got a gasket <clears throat> from here. That's the gasket I'm going to be using, RK3371. This is the four cylinder. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by taking the coil packs out. We have these eight mil um, bolts. And these are also eight mil, so you can crack them open. These are the mounts for the, the cover that goes here. Just need to take them out as well. 12. Because I've got a 13 here, it's a little bit too big. My socket 12 doesn't fit. And just use a spanner. And uh, there is three of those. Try not to drop them. <laughs> I just dropped uh, the little <clears throat> um, nut that was here. Okay, so I managed to find it. It just fell on the side of the exhaust on a little compartment there. And uh, there's one more here. So I think this uh, rocket cover gasket was replaced before, but um, it, they may not have used enough. Uh, I think we have to use some sealant for it because it's clearly uh, leaking again. So, so we'll use a bit more sealant. the the bolts up we just want to try and separate the rocker cover now from, from the ceiling head we just want to do it carefully so we don't break anything disconnect that there so
right there is a there is a bracket on the back of this uh, nut bolt here the one that i dropped um that bracket we also need to loosen it because otherwise it's on the way um so there is an eight mil bolt on the side try not to drop that so now you can remove that bracket there it's just a uh, amount for the I think those two connections there are the uh, oxygen sensors this one's there and technically Technically, I need to <laughs> uh, so the the nut that's holding that onto that is a ten mil, the one that I dropped. But obviously, we had uh, underneath that is the eight mil. that I didn't lose. Right. So there we are. That is out. That all looks nice and clean. So we'll just make sure we clean the the surface here of the cylinder head. sure it's uh, there's no bits that can cause the leak to happen again this is where the other gasket sits one one of the gaskets sits, sits there another one there and I can see how the oil has been seeping through there into the plug So I'm not sure if they uh, actually changed the, the gasket or not. Just uh, trying to clean a bit of this here. Uh, I did the same on this side, just making sure the surface is nice and flat. Okay, so here we have. Uh, the rock cover and uh, we want to move this gasket which is not exactly sealing anything it feels a little bit hard so that's why I'm wondering whether they it was actually changed or not. Okay, got the new uh, gaskets here.
<clears throat> so I may use a bit of this. This is a silicone gasket, usually for these kind of things. If if this is uh, okay, <laughs> might be completely dry. Looks like still alive in there. Going to apply a little bit of it. Hopefully, create that extra seal. Maybe last a little bit longer. Okay, that's it. I'm ready to fit this back on. Okay, so I'm just going to start the sequence of tightening this from the center from all the bolts that are sitting in the sort of in the center and then I'm going to go um, like in a zigzag kind of way um, I'm going to torque them to nine Newton meters don't really want to break them So 9 to 10 usually for this, even 8 on some cars. Okay, so that is done. Now we can fit our coil packs. Just gonna clean this a little bit. I probably should have rinsed this before <laughs> refitting it, to be honest, but I didn't. So. <clears throat> Let me give it a quick clean. We're not going to forget to fit the nut for the bracket back here like that in as well and also you could torque this to maybe eight so we don't break them or actually 
I'm doing it at seven there. Seven Newton meters I'm applying to this. But you can really break easily break this, so be careful with that. Now I'm just going to start the car. That's pretty much it really. So I'm going to let it um, run for a little while so the, the sealant can dry and also um, just check if there's any any leaks, any obvious leaks around it. Um, so apart from that, I think what I need to do later is I need to wash the engine around there where some oil was leaking. Um, because all that down there is got oil and also my engine is running a little bit it's running a little bit rough um, today I'm going to change the coil packs because I'm getting a slight misfire and um, I tried changing the spark plugs yesterday but that didn't really help a lot so the next job on this will be changing those uh, coil packs and hopefully see how that goes but um, as far as the rock cover goes um, it's a fairly straightforward job to be honest um, so having said that I hope the video helps don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thank you for watching